morning, it's Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to another daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, EOS, Ethereum and Ripple's XRP. It is Sunday the 28th of June. Looking at Bitcoin against the dollar and the daily candlestick, it's been a bearish start to the day. Going to need to see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 9025. It's a a run at this first major resistance level sitting at 9193. Going to need to see support from the broader market, however, for Bitcoin to break back through to 9,100 levels. Failure to break through the pivot, it's going to bring this first major support level that's sitting at 88.46 into play, and we've got the 23.6% FIB sitting at 8,900, which is a key support level for Bitcoin. Fall through that first major support level, and there we're going to be seeing sub eight sevens which would then be a near-term bullish trend reversal a fall through there and that's where the second major support level sits at 8677 so that's the key level on the day a breakdown through there and then we're going to see a bearish trend form looking at the macd we've seen the histograms widen here suggesting another bearish day for bitcoin and the broader market so a move through that pivot will be key to avoid another reversal Moving across to EOS against the dollar and the hourly candlestick. Another bearish start to the day after yesterday's sell-off. Going to need to see EOS move through the pivot at 33.66 to support a run at this first major resistance selling and sitting at 2.4805. Going to need to see support from the broader market for EOS to break back through to 240 levels, however. Buying a broad-based crypto rebound from yesterday's loss, 240 should probably cap the upside on the day. Failure to break through the pivot is going to bring first major support level sitting at 1892 into play, which is also a key support level for EOS, which sits at 2.2. Buying another extended sell off, EOS should avoid sub 210s and the second major support level at 2.0453. Moving across to the daily candlesticks and the MACD. Yeah, we're seeing EOS sitting on this key support level here, sitting at 220. So a fall, failure to break through the pivot and a fall through the day's first major support level at 1892 will bring a near-term bearish trend into play and a reversal of that bullish trend that we saw. Move through the pivot and a, a run through the first major resistance level to 250s would then bring this key resistance level setting it to 90 into play and then a resumption upwards through to 311s to maintain the near-term bullish trend. MACD's pointing to a, a bearish trend on the day with the histograms widening. So a fall through that first major support level will be particularly bearish for EOS. Moving across to Ethereum against the dollar and the hourly candlestick. Tracking the broader market, another bearish start today for Ethereum. Going to need to see a move through the pivot at 222.5 to support a run at its first major resistance level, sending it 229.50. Going to need to see support from the broader market to break out from 225 levels, however. Buying a broad based crypto rally, we shouldn't see anything beyond 230 on the day. Failure to break through the pivot would bring this first major support level at 213.58 into play. We've got a key support level sitting here at 215s that should limit the downside on the day barring extended sell-off. Looking at the daily candlesticks for Ethereum and the MACD, MACD's pointing to a, a sell-off on the day with the histograms widening here. So a fall through that key support level sitting at 215 would bring sub 200s into play and then this key support level at 176 that would then form a near-term bearish trend so avoiding sub 215s on the day will be key for ethereum moving across to ripples xrp against the dollar and the hourly candlestick again bearish start to the day after yesterday's pullback gonna need to see ripples xrp move through the pivot at 1760 to support a run of this first major resistance level setting at 1828 it's going to need to be a broad-based crypto rebound for 
Ripple's XRP to break out from 0.18 levels, however. Barring a, a rebound, we should see one, resistance in 0.18 limit any upside on the day. If it's break through the pivot, would bring the first major support level sitting at 1683 into play. Barring a, another broad-based sell-off, should avoid the second major support level sits at 1614. Moving across to Ripple's XRP against the dollar and the daily candlestick and the MACD. Yeah, bearish starts of the day. So we're going to need to see Ripple's XRP avoid a fall through 1690 to avoid a reversal of this near term bullish trend. Move through the pivot and the day's first major resistance level at 1828 would ease the pressure and support a run back through to 1900s and then an upward momentum to the key resistance level sitting at 2130 and then 2357. Key on the day is avoiding that support level at 1690. Looking at the MACD, the widening histograms pointing to another bearish trend on the day. So we could see a bullish trend reversal today.